Hello, everybody. Welcome uh, to the review of the first week of April trading for myself. I'm going to go through the trades that I took this week and how things went. But before we get to that, I uh, just want to kind of do some housekeeping. Um, if you haven't caught it already, I took I participated in a podcast, the day trading show on with Austin Silver. Um, you can find that on Twitter or I will post it in, a, in the description below, a link in the description below for you to check out. Um, so, and then aside from that, what I want to get into is top step, uh, is who I've been using, who I've been trading with futures. Um, I had a little, uh, epiphany, not epiphany this week, but something that we've been discussing in the BSC has been uh, going with these 50 K challenges and kind of just backlocking 50 K challenges and just always having something in the mix. And, you know, some of that's a little beyond has been a little beyond me because I haven't even passed one challenge yet. So like my focus is more, is it? I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I want to pass a challenge before I start getting into some of like the nuance of how to strategize, what challenges you have going and what accounts you have funded and all that kind of stuff. But one of the things that we kind of been talking about is getting a 50K challenge. So if you're struggling on your your main account and you just want to you know get some trades out there and, and start poking around a little bit and maybe get some of your edge back if you're struggling is to have a 50K challenge with Top Step, which if you're not familiar with is a futures prop funding account where you know they have a 50K, 100K and 150K account that's 50, 100 and $150 a month. And if you blow the account, you just pay a reset fee and you can you know start back over again. Well, 50 bucks a month, like if you play golf, like a box of Title S Pro V1, it's 50 bucks. And if you, know, you suck at golf, then you're blowing through 50 bucks a month as it is. So yeah, why not just have a 50K challenge? And so I'm like, you know, on Friday, I decided I was going to do that. And I just picked one up and just started clicking around. And before I know it, and I'm going to get into this, but I am now halfway to passing a 50K challenge, which is the closest I've come to passing any challenge period up to this point. And what I found very interesting about that is I've been trying to pass this 150K challenge. And um, well, you know, before we get into that, I'll, I'll circle back to it. Uh, if any of you are watching this and you haven't, you know, you're curious about trading and want to get into trading, I strongly urge you to check out the Black Shirt Club. Um, I think if you're trading by yourself and just trying to do it via, you know, books and just trying to jump right into the charts without any sort of uh, any sort of mentorship or coach or just somebody that has experience to, to help you along the way, the Black Shirt Club is for you just to you, you can at least get some sort of guidance and have somebody to bounce ideas off of and it really doesn't matter your you know I'm, I'm talking about if you're like totally green but the black shirt club isn't just meant for brand new traders it's meant for traders in all aspects uh, of their career whether you've been trading for a year or 10 you know a day or 10 years like it doesn't really matter you should be a part of the black shirt club have a group a, a tight-knit group of individuals that are you know focused on you know creating the habits and doing the things that are going to make them a better trader in the future. Um, so strongly urge you to check that out. It's a group that I've been working with for the past nine months and I have, there's no way in hell I wouldn't be where I'm at today without them. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So let's get into some of the trades. I took quite a few this week, uh, in total. So, uh, let's get to the calendar. So real quick, just I'm out of drawdown now. I am now 0.26% in the green. Um, which isn't exactly accurate. Unfortunately, there was uh, a trade that I took on Wednesday uh, and we're going to get into that, that I shouldn't have been, uh, not, not shouldn't have been in, but definitely risk heavy on. And this is what, where I kind of stopped myself with the 50K challenge, what I wanted wanted to start talking about a little bit more. So we'll, we'll circle back to this, but I, I was, I did lose 2% on, on Wednesday. Um, I tried to enter the trade in manually because I won't even delve into the details. Just know that there is a trade that we're going to go over that I lost 2% on here. So this number isn't exactly accurate, but from what I can actually import, uh, this is where I'm at. This is fresh challenges here on Friday. So like I said, when I when I say I'm close to passing a funding challenge, I, I am, even though you know what I'm telling you in terms of my drawdown just doesn't quite match up. So not a bad week. I have you know, started out good on uh, on Monday or Tuesday, excuse me, up 400, had the blow up day, hit the reset, lost, you know, was actually, and we're gonna get into these trades, was kind of all over the place on Thursday, went into drawdown and then dug my way out of it for the, you know, to kind of like break even for the week and then had a great Friday. So let's get into some of the trades. Uh, this is the first trade that I took on the week. So, and, and again, this is Tuesday's trades. So first trade, we're looking at crude oil. 
just a nice like fall retest. This is yesterday's high zone. Uh, we had actually set in a high further back over here and was just looking at it kind of find support on this. This is an all time high VWAP here. Uh, we've got our high of day we VWAP here and then we've got the daily. We find, you know, chopped around here. I got long on the break of the daily excuse me, in the high of day, uh, and then close some as we kind of chopped around it, which this oils off my list, but, and this is, oh man, excuse me, this is kind of why. So uh, close some, once we got below, held onto that contract, did not add back in, which is something that I need to work on in the future, uh, just in general, but didn't add back in because I don't trade oil that much and I didn't want to be throwing a bunch of risk on this. So two contracts, closed one, didn't add back in once we got back above the high of day and the daily and we're starting to show more strength and then closed here uh, via discretion once we got up to the top. So, and it was actually ended up being a pretty good close <clears throat> because uh, just to seeing this, I've seen this structure so many times where it's like you make a push, big pin up that actually ends up closing bearish. You kind of retrace it and then we don't break above that high. And that's kind of my sign to be to get out. That's that's it. We're done. So that's the first trade on oil. Not a bad one. Just again, not adding back in the second trade. This is the more frustrating one. I trade ES enough to know that long is the way and uh, you know, having a long bias is the way to go, but uh, not adding back in. So again, buying here as we're kind of falling back was going to buy the retest of the daily, uh, which is something that I've also kind of been working on. But then when we fall underneath, now I'm like, I'm looking at this. We get back to entry. I close half here. But then we get this retest to get that's chopping around but it's still right there right so that should be my sign to like get back in we're finding support we're still making higher lows all the way up underneath here uh, i should be getting back in at this point but i don't and um it ends up taking off with just that one contract and then i exited here at one r uh this is where i had you know my coach is kind of in my head saying like look you're at one r like just bag bag the cash at one r like get out of the trade at one r you don't need to let it run like if this comes back and you take a donut on it you're going to be even more frustrated than if you just at least took took the win there right so this is tuesday uh just those two trades um now we're getting into wednesday so wednesday I, I tried taking a trade on the russell again and uh so what was frustrating about this particular trade and i can i can jump over to the charts too in a minute here uh maybe but so I took this trade on the Russell and some of the other Blackshirt Club members took the trade on ES. And so I bought the break of the daily as we were kind of setting in this low, finding support on yesterday's low. I just saw the structure a little bit better, uh, looked a little bit better here than it did on ES. And this big bar is actually news that came in. Um, I had started to think about closing when we hit this double top, right? Like when we started to hit this zone. Um, unfortunately, I didn't close any of it, held on to it tried to hold on to it as it was breaking down knew we had news coming didn't want to hold into it and when we broke below this low of day uh vwap that's where i i kind of was like all right so now no buyers are involved at all and why i was bringing up es and and the, the rest of the group is because they took the almost the exact same trade except on es it chopped around mostly in profit like like in profit and then into drawdown but like never really broke down structurally like breaking down you know taking out these vwaps along the way it held was held up by these vwaps and they just kind of like chopped around in a specific zone where i am now like i'm losing strength and i'm panicking and you know closing out through all of this and um yeah it just was was really frustrating so so took a loss here on this first trade when ideally like i could have my stop loss was not the best it actually probably should have been down here at this the the low of the day uh just to give me the space to kind of hold into it maybe a little bit longer uh and let it go let it hit news but again you know we don't that's not my pra i don't practice holding into the news usually i'm trying to take my trades b well before or after uh which this is actually the frustrating part uh, the more frustrating part so i take this loss uh get pulled away from the desk for familiar you know I gotta go watch my kids or some nonsense and I just cannot get back to the desk. I see this, this all takes shape. Wish I was still holding onto this trade into this, or it was at least an ES through this with like a contract on. Um, but then I, I see this run up and I know that there's gonna be some sort of retracement and I'm, I'm looking at this zone on my tablet upstairs, not able to trade it, not able to walk away from what I'm taking care of at the time, but I am still watching. I'm like, I wanna I wanna buy here. Like this is the price I wanna get in at and I miss this trade. And it just led to uh, led to some turmoil for me because then I take this oil trade. Now this is the, tr these are the two trades that didn't make it into, the, into my chart. Uh, <clears throat> so th this trade right here, oil, it's actually chopping around before all this. 
uh, we set this set a new high of day I throw an anchor on we're still making higher lows underneath here as we kind of hold the daily so I'm looking at this as like another potential like I just want to you know take this back up to the high of day and and steal some profits somewhere within there uh, as you can see it never even breaks above that so I get in here I never really close out any of it because we still hold on to it structurally and my stop loss has the daily in there which is really where things are invalidated so I don't really have I mean aside from taking out this high of day I don't really have any opportunity to, to take size off the trade when we get back above the high of day for this now the third time technically now I'm adding on to the position I'm getting aggressive with this thinking that now all right well now we're we're still making higher lows underneath. We're still going to run. And, you know, I, I just I just need to get somewhere up in here and I'm going to take some size off. Comes back down below. Like now, now we're just chopping around. I, this should have been clicking in my head that I need to I need to just take this at break even or with like whatever profit I'm getting here. Uh, but I don't. And instead, now we break down. Now we've made a lower low here and then a lower high here. Like, I, again, I, I have another opportunity. Get out of the trade. Steal, like, whatever profit you have or just take the donut and just, like, get out of it before it gets worse. I am so convicted at this point. I don't do anything here as we're making, again, like I said, lower high, lower low, like, slightly lower low. And then we fall away. Touch view up. I had another opportunity to close for like super small profits. Thought maybe the touch of the VWAP was what was going to send it. And then now it just falls away and I lose everything. And then this is where I blew the account lesson from the trade. No shame in getting out of break even. No shame in taking a small loss. You know, could have taken a small, could have take, taken the small loss here. Could have taken a little bit of profit here. Could have just taken the donut, whatever. Clearly it was off my game, missing trades earlier. Again, like this, now I'm letting earlier mistakes or earlier misses affect what I'm doing here. Get FOMO within the group, seeing, you know, other people were passing challenges today. So I was getting a little, you know, off tilt with that. Uh, silver lining to put in the account. I got to, I actually had a free reset that was going to expire on April 5th. So I was able to actually just use that there. So that's Tuesday's trades. That's the, the mess that I was, I, I had kind of invoked on Tuesday. Uh, now we're looking at Thursday. This is the trade. This is the, maybe the one and only trade. I, did I have two? I had two trades on Thursday. All right. So this is the Russell. Again, we're finding resistance, resistance, resistance. Come back, touch the daily. This is the time to buy as we're actually climbing back. Should have been long in here. Instead, I try to buy the bounce off the high of day, thinking this is like a break and retest, and then it just falls away, and I end up getting stopped out for a full loss. Didn't have too much size on that, fortunately, but still, just it really sucked. Then I get chopped around. Uh, so again, this was Thursday was a day where I was taking all like a couple different trades got chopped around early on and then finally finished the day with like just one good trade that kind of brought me almost back up to break even so uh me and one of the other members uh mark shout out to mark who's a great trader passed a couple different challenges already he's funded and he's 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 a, an animal uh me and him were trying to not me and him he was trying to take oil short he had the proper trade on i was trying to ride his coattails and uh i this stop loss totally inappropriate needs to be back up here if i at least have it up here i am holding through all of this uh and still in the trade here and i would find one r down here uh even with the stop loss up at this pin so i take this quick loss that moves against me immediately and then try to take another one so again we're we're taking um we're taking this here right we're taking this short here and then we're losing out here and now i'm taking it short again and then into a little bit of profit thinking that this is going to be the moment that it goes and then instead it turns around so i quickly close as it breaks above the daily and then i take it long now the long didn't really go much of anywhere i make a little bit of money here on on that push and then we should see here it chops around so here's the long play right we got the short that doesn't work and then we've got the long play that i that just chops around above the daily here guess where this ended at the end of the day way down here so this this trade or even the initial trade if i had given it the proper stop loss would have actually worked but because i didn't manage the risk and i didn't manage the stop loss properly i wasn't in it again made a little bit of money on this fortunately could have actually turned out really bad um <clears throat> But, you know, I, I come away unscathed. And at this point, I'm off oil again. I used, I tried to trade it before, got away from it, came back to it, had some success, as you saw on that one trade uh, on Tuesday uh, back here, right? So I had some success with this trade on it on Tuesday and thought, oh, well, I can, I can add oil into the mix. And um, you know, here I am again, just not able to really be uh, 
in tune with what direction this wants to go as it's chopping around the daily and and the, you know it's just because that the indicators and that i have on my screen that you know the vwaps that i use in order to trade with just don't gain a lot of res i'm not seeing them get the res same respect that they get on indices right so i'm not seeing the daily be a pretty robust line of support with oil i'm not seeing the low of day or high of day be great support resistance throughout you know most of the price action so it's making it it's causing a lot of indecision and confusion for me as i'm trying to read the chart so i'm done with oil i don't i don't really want to mess with that anymore let's get rid of some of these trades so i can go back to them this is the trade that wiped out all the all the nonsense um and and one of the other members in the blaster club took took this trade. actually one of the coaches took this trade here uh, so we'll get to that in a second my idea at this point is we've had this big run up on news on on thir uh, on thursday uh it retraces and we're now below this is a news vwap this is the open vwap and then this is the daily okay so i'm thinking if i buy here as it's as it's built mounting some pressure and it breaks now i'm in at a good price and i can add in when it breaks above this right then i'm adding in here as it's coming down and we we touch the daily and now we're making a higher low so i'm adding another contract in here still just sweating drawdown as we come back and and i held through this i was just i just decided i was going to either take the loss or i'm just going to you know eventually get to this point should have actually been adding another contract in here as we chop around the daily and find you know some some level of support at this point and this is what i'm talking about just look how tight it holds here where and I, i've already gotten rid of it but oil was just like way down like here just like look like it might actually turn around whereas an indice when it gets to the daily if you see a lot a lot of respect and, and real tightness at that at that vwap then you know it gives there's just a, a I can just see that price action a little bit better than I can on oil. So oil's done. So anyway, so I should have added added in here, but now I'm sweating this. And then as it starts to climb, climb back and actually get above these VWAPs and I add my last contract in here, um, you know, the trade ends up working out nicely. Now, the other Blackshirt Club member didn't do any of this nonsense that I did where I, I can't say that I was stressed because I knew that I was going to endure this drawdown. I knew this was a possibility of me taking the contracts here and here, but I was sweating it a little bit here at this point and you know prepared to make this entry but he didn't do any of this he just got in you know with all of his contracts here at this price which after all this that was pretty much where my cost average was and you know made a very painless one r on the trade and um you know again this is where like taking four losses and at the beginning of the day just all of a sudden leads to these weird ideas of like taking all this well like why not just like wait and just see it touch the daily maybe maybe here by a contract and then add another contract in here and and now you're now you've got two really good prices with good indication on getting into the trade you know still very bullish structure yeah we come down and we make this lower low based off of some of this but you know you find strong support here um so yeah that was evan that did that so he had a nice painless one r there uh this is now we're into friday right so all right so before we get into friday's trades what i want to talk about let's go back to the top step stuff so we were talking about taking this 50k challenge right and it's only 50 bucks a month it's like all right that's the uh the cost of tank of gas or you know uh uh dozen golf balls whatever the hell it is like it's just not that much money and you have a 50k account that you can trade with and i you know i'm like all right well i had a rough day the day before i'm still struggling with managing the risk that i'm putting on on trades with 150k account so let me just get a 50k account and start putzing around now we had news on friday it was uh what was it nfp so because first friday of the month and um i traded into it hell with it i really didn't uh not into it i'm sorry i traded right after it so uh, just had really no qualms with taking the trade there just just threw some risk on with the 50k account threw my stop here just saw you know we got below the daily a lot of pressure back above retested it just saw a pretty bullish structure there so got in here at this price and it just took off hit my hit my profit and just pulled just pulled the trade uh it was quick i think i made a quick thousand because i had two contracts on um on that trade 
and then because it's a 50k account you can't make more than half the half of the amount needed to pass the challenge in a day which is 3000 on a 50k so i'm already up a thousand i just need another 500 so what do i do i look for another opportunity so remember this is this is the original trade here we set the high of day anchor come back find again more support on the daily we get this nice big push buyers swooping back in because now here we are at the open right Come back, retest the daily strength, and I buy the touch of the daily as this pin. As soon as I see this pin, I'm like, all right, buyers are still present. If I lose this trade, I'm not gonna be that upset about it because I just, I like this close. This candle, boom, push, closed here for 400 and I think it was $80. So I was at $1,480 for the day, $20 off of half. So I'm halfway to passing that challenge. And this was something that I had kind of all of a sudden like was was an epiphany for me. I don't need 150K account to trade with leverage. It's not like the CFD stuff where, you know, you, if you have a million dollars in funding and you're trading 1%, which is, you know, <clears throat> across the grand scheme of things is 10 grand, like you're going to make 10 grand on that one trade. The, the contracts don't work that way with, with top step and with the future stuff. Like I can trade the same amount of contracts on a 50K account as I can a 150K account. So it's the same amount of money. It doesn't really matter how much leverage I actually have. So um, I've been really struggling with trying to add more size onto the 150K account in order to pass that challenge faster. And what I realized is I can actually pass a 50K challenge a lot faster, make the same amount of money and don't have to take as much time to make the nine grand because inevitably what you end up doing is adding more contracts and taking in more drawdown to make the same. I, I'm I'm delving deeper in, into into things that just you get the point. It's a lot. E I'm, I'm realizing it's a lot easier to pass a 50k challenge and make the same amount of money. I don't need the 150k account in order to make that a possibility because I'm still going to be trading the one, two, three, four contracts max on either of those accounts. It's just going to be the same. If I can pass a 50k challenge and give myself enough of a buffer, it's not, at the end of the day, it's not going to matter. So I, I hope that makes sense. And if not, throw some comments, some questions in the comments below, and I'll get back to you in the next next week's review. So so that's so here's this that's this trade here again i just i just see good structure and i'm just no hesitation just throwing size on because again it's 50k accounts 50 bucks if i punt it and it just fails then i really don't care about having to reset it um then i switched over to my 150k account just trying to tack on some stuff with that because there's it's still a good trading day i still see some good setups coming in um here's the original trade that i took with the 50k account now i'm switching over i feel like i'm missing out on the push here because i didn't actually enter in uh, at either of these points on this trade and uh, i end up adding in late and when i see it kind of chopping around here i kind of got nervous and pulled the trade again this is where i'm talking about like i'm throwing on extra size because i'm trying to pass this 150k account when you know if i had just used the same contract size and just accept the fact that it's going to take 10 trades instead of three trades to pass the challenge uh it, it'll make things go a lot smoother so anyway i, I get get nervous close here gonna catch hell for this for my coaches because they're gonna see this and be like why the what at what effing point did you see a reason to get out of that trade and it's again just discretion i'm seeing these pins on the top side even though we're still making higher lows underneath and just closing early so uh <clears throat> it's that trade uh now this is where we kind of get uh, get wonky right so now now i'm just clicking everywhere because i'm going nuts uh here's the trade that i just showed you now i'm taking this uh buying here selling here selling here buying the contract back here so i'm making money in both directions right just kind of clicking around uh no i did not endure this drawdown i got out here for profit assuming that this uh, assuming or planning for this to kind of come back down to the daily uh, so then those are the trades that we just discussed there then this was the the one loser that i had uh buying in here is it's kind of breaking back above like i had a or chopping above a high of day assuming that it's going to retrace this one bar so i was trying to get in somewhere somewhere in here as it's kind of clamoring back uh not realizing that this was actually probably going to fall off entirely and, and giving it enough time to kind of develop and maybe set in a bottom and show me some strength uh had i placed my stop loss at an appropriate spot and given it you know at least the daily in there i actually could have held on to this uh i have one more trade that day end the day i thought that was gonna be go to the oh let, you know what that's why i want to bring this up so here's here's the remainder of the day so here's where i got 
uh, here is where I had the mess. Then I took a little break. Things kind of took off in here. And then once we set in this high and we hit ADR, caught a short going the other direction, caught another short off the retest, and then got long again here. And the frustrating part is when I got long here, I could have, I should have held on to this trade long into this, but instead when once we had this one bar push and kind of chopped around here, it closed in here. So uh, again, three good trades. These are not my setups. I should not if funded, I wouldn't be taking these trades. Uh, absolutely not. Would not be taking these trades. Uh, shouldn't have even have taken them on Friday, but I just saw some opportunity just to, to scalp some coming back. Again, once we hit ADR, I know typically things will slow down, especially if we're hitting ADR at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if we'd hit ADR in pre-market, it might be different, but hitting it here, you kind of know that this is going to be where a slowdown comes, comes off of. Uh, I was trading this back into this shelf. Saw this shelf held. Should have just... Should have had the foresight to realize that this is just a break retest of this 52.30 and we're going to continue to just push back into this this all-time high VWAP, which we ended up doing. Could have held in here, could have had a nice healthy trade uh, that would have would have done some serious damage to progress um, on the 150k account. So, so that wraps up the trades. Uh, again, just a, a really good week this week in terms of uh, in terms of making some progress, uh, some some really good, uh, you know, just, just figured some things out about the strategy and the, and managing the risk of the combines, right? So now I, I kind of have a, a better understanding of, of how I want to be trading these things. So I, I learned, had some really good lessons this week. Um, and, you know, I'm I really need to get this one in here because I want to know where I stand at the end of the month. I don't want this. I don't want to, I'm not trying to ignore big losses <clears throat> within within my trading I, I i want this to be honest so i have to i have to go back and i have to figure out how to add that in uh, and get it right but um overall still just a good start i'm at a good spot right now coming into this week and i'm hoping that i can kind of build off that and keep things going so uh just to recap guys don't forget uh the podcast dropped this week it's a two-parter so you can catch the first part uh, on youtube i'll drop that link in the description also i'll drop a link for top step if you're uh, looking to get into the future space top steps one of the best companies that's that's going around in, in that space right now um you can find them on youtube they do uh they do live streaming uh all day every day uh don't forget to check out the black shirt club if you're looking to get into streaming and then also aside from the top step tv check out asfx tv where you can catch the coaches <clears throat> trading live with you uh kind of across the world we got um we got guys in the middle of the night that are that are trading overseas and then we've uh we've got the new york session where uh, we can trade live into the open and uh you can catch us catch members of the group working working through that on asfx tv so i'll drop a link in the description for that as well so guys again thank you for staying with me this long if you have been and uh if you have any questions or comments uh want to roast some of the BS trading that I that I had over the week. Uh, drop them in the comments below, and uh, thank you. Know, thanks for staying staying with me here. Catch you guys next week.